Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show with my second of three recaps. I already got the Cowboys game. Last well, night, what a game I freaking watched here. The Washington, we are commanders. Bum ba bum bum bum. Beat the Chicago Dub Bears. Uh, 18 to 15. What a win. I, I thought the Commanders had lost this game, man. Uh, they got a, four, a stop on 4th and 3, but there was a pass interference. The Bears got a touchdown, I believe, like a two plays later. Um, I don't, and they get the two-pointer. I'm like, this game's over. But then, freaking Jaden Daniels throws a Hail Mary. It, it, number 29, I believe, Stevenson. Um, tipped it, but it, it just didn't get high enough to where it didn't go behind him. Because every time there's a Hail Mary, you know why there's another receiver behind him is in case that type of situation happens where it gets tipped. And unfortunately for the Bears, the, the tip just didn't go their way. The offense for them really struggled, man, but they played a lot better in the second half. Uh, they down to them 15 to 2, or 15 to 3 in the second half. It was 12 nothing, but it, they scored 15 straight points just to lose on a Hail Mary. DeAndre Swift has his best game of the season. The offense looks a lot better in the second half. And that happens. It's, it's just not kind of unbelievable. <laughs> the Bears get their only touchdown on the last play of the game because their points had come field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal. And then they get a touchdown on the last play. Just a crushing, man, a crushing, crushing loss. For the Chicago Bears. Go Bears! I, I just couldn't believe it, man. Um, the Commanders are now 6-2. and two, And they have a superstar rookie quarterback. Who I thought played pretty well today. They lead the division at 6-2 and two after winning 4 games last year. And one of the most incredible regular season finishes in the NFL this season. I, I, I couldn't believe it freaking Hail Mary, and some Bears fans were very angry with the refs and the Washington clock operator for rigging the game. And there's no excuses allowed. If you lose on a 65-yard Hail Mary, you deserve to lose. And, oh, you, oh you're oh, holding. Bears fans are oh, holding. It's a Hail, it's a fucking Hail Mary. They never call holding on that. They never call a Hail Mary, uh, Holding a Hail Mary. It's just salty fans, man. I mean, if you give up that a Hail Mary on that, that there's no excuses for the Chicago Bears. Uh, to me. You, you can't give, a, give an excuse. But I thought uh, Jay Daniels played pretty well, man. Uh, he went 20... 21 of 38, 326 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Also had eight runs for 52 yards, 6.5 carry. Jaden Daniels with a Hail Mary for the win. What a game from him, man, from Jaden Daniels. And he held him to the ball for like 12 seconds to launch that play. And when you, that's why I always say this, man, I hate rushing three. I hate rushing three if you're the defense are trying to win the game and they're going to Hail Mary it. You blitzed in that situation. I understand why this is so complicated for NFL defenses. This is the most important thing on that play. You make the QB throw early. You let Jay Daniel scramble for 12 seconds, of course he's going to throw it down the field. That's why I hate when people rush three. Oh, yeah, and good thing, uh, number 53. Oh, yeah, good thing he was covering the dump-off pass. Yeah, good thing he was covering a dump-off pass. You, you gotta worry about, yeah, you know, you don't have to worry about the about that 60-yard QB scramble with the entire defense between him and the end zone. Like, if you're number 53 linebacker out there, chase the quarterback. Like, if they get a dump-off pass... You take that, because the entire defense back there, they're most likely not going to score. And yeah, was there a hold? Probably, but they never call holding on a Hail Mary play. And I don't want an excuse. I don't want an excuse from the Bears.
I don't think it was just, I mean, was there holding? Yeah, but I mean, I don't whine about holding. And but in a game, Jaden was dealing with a rib injury. They were down to their left tackle, number three. There were multiple drops and killer penalties, and he threw for 326 and a miracle walk-off. 52 yards, he had no turnovers, just a really great performance. He's going to be so good for this franchise. Um, rushing, Brian Robinson Jr., six, 15, or 16 runs, 65 yards, 4.1 yards per carry. Austin Acor, 7 runs, 52 yards, 5.4 yards per carry. Um, Terry McLaurin, 5 catches, 125 yards. Good game from uh, Scary Terry. Zach Ertz, 7 catches, uh, 77 yards for um, Zach Ertz. He had a good game. With those seven catches for 77 yards. Hmm. It was a, uh, on the Hail Mary, I think Noah Brown said uh, it was a planned play for Ertz to tip back, tip it back to him. And, I mean, I don't know, it just looks like number 29 of Stevenson um, tipped it, and he just happened to be back there. But I love that idea from Dems to go to Ertz and protect him with a low ball, even if it ended up getting dirted. Because that was a few plays before that. Kind of lucky, because that saved, um, that didn't waste all the time. Zach Ertz had a good game. Uh, Noah Brown, three catches, 73 yards, and a touchdown. Brian Robinson Jr., one catch, 11 yards. Uh, John Bates, one catch, 20 yards. McCaffrey, one catch, 8 yards. Eckler, two catches, 6 yards. And Brown, one catch for 6 yards. Uh, they sacked Caleb Williams, I believe, two times. Sabert was 4-5 or five on field goals, 4-5. for five. And the Commander improved to 6-2 and two with an 18-15 win for Dub Bears. Dropping to 4-3 and three here. Man, Caleb Williams started off really bad. Uh, he was 4-16, 34 yards or something, 36 yards. He played a lot better in the second half, I thought. I thought some good growth in the second half, 10-24, 131 yards. Yeah, he didn't throw a touchdown, but he didn't have any interceptions. The Commanders need to make really tough for him through really two and a half quarters, but he eventually got going, and he played good in the second half. It's just he didn't play good the whole game. Like he played better in the second half, but on that hail mary, man, you can't let a quarterback move around by that much time. Like was there a hole? Yes, but they had too many guys back there. You need to rush more than three. I don't care if there's holding. You rush more than three. I, I don't get NFL defenses, like I said, why? They don't rush more than three. It's the last play of the game. Make him throw the ball early. Uh, DeAndre Swift, 18 runs, 129 yards, 7.2 per carry, one touchdown. Uh, big game for DeAndre Swift. His best game of the season. And, of course, they lose. <laughs> Uh, Roshan Johnson had the touchdown that gave him the lead. Uh, Odunze, two runs, 13 yards more, two runs, 7 yards receiving. Odunze, three catches, 41 yards. Keenan Allen, 39 yards on two catches. DJ Moore, two catches, 27 yards. Cole Komet, one catch, 14 yards. Everett, one catch, three yards. DeAndre Carter, one catch, seven yards. Uh, they sacked Jane Daniels two times. Dude, that's punter, Troy... Tory Taylor. My God, he's good. Be yeah, 18 to 15, 18 15, your final score. Uh, the Commanders. This was a very fun, uh, competitive game. Uh, Washington started off, started up 12 nothing. Bears freaking respond with 15 unanswered points, and then the Bears win a hail mary. Just what a hell of a game between these two rookie quarterbacks. Just a, ouch, ouch. Yeah, that's really all I got to say here. So, uh, yeah. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Just next time out. Peace.